Happy Christmas everybody, it is Will here and it is that time of year again when us Waterstones vloggers like to get together and to tell you about two books. One, the book that we would like to give to people this Christmas and two, the book that we would like to receive this Christmas. So, for me, the book that I would like to give this Christmas, it's the book that I read on the first day of the year and it is still my favourite novel of the year, it is Lanny by Max Porter. Now available in this quite frankly stunning special edition with this lovely new hardcover. It's got this lovely gold foiled leaf on I just, you know, come on. It's a beautiful gift. Uh, it is of course also a wonderful book. It's a book that manages to combine wonderful inventive language and writing with a huge big beating heart in the center uh, it is just a fantastic novel so i cannot recommend it highly enough and as for the book that i would like to receive for christmas well as you know i'm a massive massive graphic novel fan i'm a massive massive chris ware fan and so therefore this baby, Rusty Brown by Chris Ware, is the book that I would like to find underneath my Christmas tree. If you know anybody who likes graphic novels, they will also appreciate finding this under the tree. Um, go and have a look at the book on waterstones.com. There's a few pictures there that show some of the amazing stuff that's inside this book. It has, a, as ever, it has a cover which kind of folds out into an amazing work of art, and it tells several characters' stories on the same day concurrently. It's just an incredible piece of graphic art, and I cannot wait to get stuck in uh, during my Christmas break. So there you go, that's my two books. Here is somebody else. Merry Christmas, everybody. I can't believe it's so close to Christmas. I am very, very excited. So the book that I'm giving to everyone this year is Becky Chambers, To Be Taught If Fortunate. This is the proof copy. I'm obviously giving the beautiful finished hardback. If you haven't read Becky Chambers, you need to change that immediately. She writes sci-fi that got me into reading sci-fi. I thought I didn't like sci-fi and then I read Becky Chambers and I was like, oh okay, maybe I do because she is an incredible writer. She effortlessly includes diversity and she just explores what it means to be human, um, which is at its heart what sci-fi should do. It's a really gentle, lovely look at humanity and the kindness humans can show each other but also the consequences of our actions and I think with you know this increased uh, awareness of climate change and the problems that are occurring because of it, Becky Chambers encourages you to think about the world that you live in and how you can affect it and how a lot of change can come from just being kind. And at the very top of my Christmas list is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, but the new illustrated edition by Elise Hurst. It is absolutely incredible. Every time I walk past it in the shop, I just kind of like pick it up and look at it longingly. Uh, Ocean at the End of the Lane is a really lovely Neil Gaiman story about childhood and memory and magic and fairy tale. It's a beautiful celebration of kind of childlike imagination and how we forget when we're grown up what matters to us when we're children. It also has a cow in it called Rhiannon, which made me very excited when I read that. Uh, but it's just one of my favourite of his and one I reread all the time. So I would love to reread it with these gorgeous new illustrations. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas. Hi, it's Immy here. Happy Christmas. Um, so the book that I will be giving to people this year is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton, which is a brilliant memoir, which is written by a columnist who has explored this in quite a lot of her articles and it's a woman in her mid-twenties exploring love, relationships, heartbreak and how they go around with her experience of life and it's just brilliantly written. It's hilarious, it's heart-wrenching, it's moving, it's just brilliant. So if you know someone who likes memoirs or a woman in her twenties, this is something to give to your friends, your family, it's just absolutely brilliant. And then the book that I will want to receive this year is Lisa today is Three Women, which sounds like a brilliant look in a kind of like true crime feel, but it's not true crime, um, of looking at three women's exploration of sexuality, relationships, love, which seems to be a theme between the two books. And I would love to receive it because it's just had such good reviews and I've looked at it so many times on our table we have at work and I keep wanting to buy it and I just don't and I don't know why. And so therefore I would love to receive it this Christmas. And if I don't, I'm sure I'll use my Christmas money to buy it. So there we are. They're my two books for Christmas. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you soon. 
Hey, it's Naomi and the book I'm going to be giving the most this year is The Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins. Um, it's a book I read earlier this year. I did a little review on it so you can check that out if you like. But it's a bit of a murder mystery, a bit of a gothic novel. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. It's just been nominated for the Costa First Novel Award. And there are so many people in my personal life, I think, that would enjoy and appreciate receiving this book for Christmas and I've recommended it to so many customers as well. So that's a great one to check out. And for the book I'd most like to receive this year, I'm going to slightly cheat and talk about a book that I have received but I haven't read it yet, The Eighth Life. Um, it is a 900 page epic about a Georgian family uh, living in revolutionary Russia. Um, it has been nominated for some awards before, um, however it's only just been translated into English. Um, what with moving house and then it was poorly, I haven't had the time to sit down and give this book the um, attention it needs. So I'm really looking forward to doing that in the new year. And this might be an excellent wildcard book for that reader in your life that is really hard to buy for. Um, I think this might be a really good shout. So um, thank you and Merry Christmas.